everyone, welcome to the Hedgehog Hollow. Today I have a review of the new Gemini Go machine. So this is a small version of the Gemini Junior or the big Gemini. This is kind of their mini or portable machine version. So what do you get in the box? So first of all, you get your Gemini Go machine. You'll get your power cord, which plugs into your outlet. And then you're gonna get a selection of plates. So you get all your regular sandwich plates. You get your top and bottom plate. You've got your plastic shim your magnetic shim, your metal shim, and your rubber one for embossing. So I have two sets here. I should say that Crafters Companion sent me this, I'll always let you know that, um, but I have been playing around with it. They also sent me the accessory here, which is the option to make it portable so that you can take it to crops, you can run it off of a USB and things like that. There are a couple of caveats I'm gonna add. So this means, yes, you can run it off of those batteries that we all use for our phones. However, you can't run it off the standard ones. It needs a 12 volt battery. Now, my one that you see me use all the time for things like my foil quill and things, these are only five volt. So you can't run it off of these. Your machine is not gonna run it, it'll power on, but it's not gonna have enough current to be able to pull those plates through. You need a 12 volt option. And I'll link one in the video description for you. Um, you can also get the Gemini Go on Amazon on Prime, so you can get it all together at the same time and I will add all of those links for you but just be warned if you want to use this and take it to crops which I think is an amazing idea that they've done that to make it fully portable for us you're not going to be able to use your standard battery. Now another option you do have is the kind of battery that Greg uses when we do um, shows and things like Creativation and that has a full power outlet in it. So what he did, and we checked that this works, I'll link this one up too, is we just use this cable which plugs into the outlet and we plug the machine in and it powered perfectly. So that's another option for you. Um, but the 12 volt is what you'll need if you want to use that accessory. Um, however, let's go back to the machine. So as I say, it's the mini version of the Gemini Junior. Um, there's also a big Gemini. I'll place all those links in the video description. I use my Gemini all of them as time. So if you watch my videos, you'll know my Gemini Junior and my Gemini get a really good workout. They are great. They are used on a daily, daily basis and they are workhorses. And I like the fact that they are fully automatic machines. There's no hand crank. I don't have to press a button like the Vagabond. It just sails and off it goes. So I really like that. I think that's awesome. Um, and it will emboss. The only thing the Gemini does not do is it does not do steel rule dies. You know, those really thick dies that we used to kind of have back in the old days. And Tim still does some of the things. It's the only thing it does not do is it will not do steel rule dies. But apart from that, it does everything else. So I love my Gemini. Um, I do have a big shot. You'll see it in the back there, that pretty blush one. But um, that's kind of my backup machine. Really, I only use my Geminis. So... The mini versions, now there is a mini Big Shot, Tim does one, and um, Alton, you do their Blossom and things. The only downside of those is your plate is this big, which is fine, you can do words. You can quite often do kind of like, you know, you're coordinating dies and stuff like that. But the Gemini one is a lot bigger. Look, you actually have a pretty good, I'm gonna put it in the corner. Look how much extra cutting area we get. So I would actually say that's a pretty usable cutting pad. Now the only thing I have found that you can't do on these are those background dies. But apart from that, I have been able to use nearly everything else. So apart from my A2 background dies, I can use almost everything I need. So my word dies, I have very few coordinating stumps and dies. I really do use the scan and cut because it saves me so much money. Um, that's what I like to use. Um, but I pretty much, I have found that this does almost everything I need. So if you are looking for a die cutting machine, you're not so fussed about being able to use background dies. It's a great budget option, as I say, it comes on Prime, links in the video description. Um, I think this is awesome. And how it works is, like any other die cutting machine, you put your sandwich together accordingly. It comes with your instruction book of how to work your sandwich. And then you just turn it on, you put your sandwich together, and then, you're just going to feed it in and it just takes it it's going to feed it through it does have a funny cute little noise compared to the big meaty noise of our Geminis and our Gemini Juniors and it feeds it out the other end and then it's done and that's it and it turns itself off automatically too so 
I really like this. I think it's a really cool idea. Um, I've had this now on my desk. I've been trying it out. I'm gonna keep it on my desk. It takes up a nice small amount of space. Greg likes it because it doesn't encroach on his camera area, um, which is cool too. My Gemini kind of lives on a little table underneath my desk, but this one is great because you can just kind of feed it through and off you go. So that's my review of the Gemini Junior. I do like the idea that it's portable, that you can get that accessory. Downside for me is you need a 12 volt battery, but I'm just gonna steal Greg's one of these. That's kind of how it's gonna work. He's rolling his eyes at me, but that's cool. Um, so that's my uh, review. I think it's a great tool. I wish they could have used the regular batteries that we all have. Um, but as I say, links for everything in the video description and I'll link up the Gemini Junior and the regular Gemini 2. So if you want to check those out, there is also a Gemini foil press. So they have their own version of that too. So everything coordinates together. That's really cool. I did a review of that at Christmas. You can check that out in the top right hand corner if you want to know more about that as well. So thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for our daily tips, tricks, tutorials, and so much more here at Hedgehog Hollow. Uh, we have our daily videos. If you enjoyed this review, give us a thumbs up. And if you are going crafty shopping, don't forget to check out the coupons in the description below and hit the join button to become a Channel Perks member. There are so many reasons to join and so much money you can save on your crafty shopping too. And it helps support us here at the Hedgehog Hollow and you will save a ton of money on all of your crafty purchases, free shipping, $5 off, 10% off money off if you're in the UK and we're working on adding some Australian vendors to the program as well thank you so much for joining me today I will see you again tomorrow happy stamping everyone bye